I'd like to go over squaring two digit numbers. So that's multiplying the number by itself. So for example, if we want to do the square of 26 squared, that's 26 multiplied by 26. The normal method of multiplication, let's just do one over here. So 26 multiplied by 26. This is your traditional method. Put a zero here. Two times six is 12. Carry one. Two times two is four. Add that one, that makes five. And then six times six is 36. So carry the three over. Two times six is 12. Plus that three makes 15. 15 down. Then we have to add these up. So six and zero is six. Five and two make seven. And then five add one is six. So the answer to 26 squared is 676. But there's a much, much easier way. So let's just do this again. 26 squared, 26 squared. So what you need to do, first of all, is square the six. So six times six is 36. Put the six down and carry the three over here. Then what you need to do is multiply these two numbers together, the two and the six, and also multiply by this two up here. So two times six is 12, times two is 24. And you mustn't forget to put this three onto that 24. So 24 plus three is 27. Let's put the seven down and carry two. And now just square the first digit. So that's two times two is four. And remember to add this carry two on. So that's six. So the answer to 26 squared is six, seven, six. Can you see there's a lot less calculations and you can virtually do this one in your head. Let's have a go at another one. What should we have? 47 squared. So we start off with the seven. Seven times seven is 49. Let's put the nine down and carry the four. Now multiply all these three numbers together. So four times seven is 28, and times two is 28, that's 56. Don't forget this four down here. So 56 plus four is 60. So we put the zero down and carry the six. Now do this four. 4 times 4 is 16, plus this 6, so that's 16, 22. Let's put the 22 down. So the answer to 47 squared is 2,209. You can see how much, much easier that is. We'll have a go at one more, and then I've got a lovely trick for you. What number shall we choose? Let's choose 39 squared. So we start off by squaring the nine. Nine nines are 81. And then multiply all three together. So that's three times nine is 27. And two times 27 is 54. Then we need to add this eight onto the 54. So that's 62. So we put a two down and carry the six. And then that just leaves us the first digit. Three times three is nine. And we need to add this six down here. So nine plus six is 15. So the answer to 39 squared is 1,521. See how much easier that is for two digit numbers that are squared. Here's a lovely little trick for you. Let's start off with 25 squared. Okay, so any two digit number ending in five, you just have to remember the answer always ends in 25. But to get the bit before that, all you do is take the first digit and add one to it. So one onto two, is three, so let's just put a three 
up here. And remember, we have to multiply those. So two times three is six. And then any two digit number ending in five that's squared always ends in 25. So you just put 25 down. Let's try another one. Let's do 55. So five add one is six. So put a six up here. Mustn't forget our little square. And then multiply the five and the six. So five times six is 30. So you put 30 down and then it always ends in 25. So just put 25 down. So there's your answer to 55 squared is 3025. We'll do one more, 75. How about that one? Seven plus one is eight. So we put our eight up here and remember to multiply. Seven times eight is 56. So put 56 down and it ends in 25. So just put your 25 down. So the answer to 75 squared is 5,625. So I hope you found that useful. If you did, please give me the thumbs up. And if you want to see more, whether it's maths or Microsoft, Excel or Word, there's lots of videos I do, please subscribe to my channel.